Hi, James. Hi, James. Hi there. Well, congratulations on a wonderful um, season and, and series. Really, I've so enjoyed watching it. Thank you. Um, and well, one of the things I love about it is the, the fact that this intergenerational family yes. is at the heart of it. And, we um, love it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Kamala has a great line when, um, you know, uh, she, she says this uh, family unit has become particularly precious to me. Mm -hmm. Which is mm -hmm. very sweet. And I wondered how much it sort of started to feel like a family on set as you've been working together for quite a few years now. Totally. In every single way. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, we all met for the first time uh, when we started season one, but uh, it really feels like a family now. And, you know, it's... Uh, it's something that's so such a gift that the show has given us is the relationships that we formed. You know, Purna, Purna and I are best friends in real life now, and it's a friendship that I my whole life only dreamed of having. And I, I just feel so um, she's about to cry. I, I feel so just so grateful. Um, yeah, and it, it really is amazing when when you know you're um, telling a story and and how it starts to reflect what's happening in your own life. And when Kamala says that, I I as the actress really felt what I was saying. Yeah, it's such a, imagine like being, going to set all your life. I mean, I, I not not that many years, but going to set and so it feels years, like yeah. set. And then suddenly you're at a workplace that feels like home mm -hmm. and you have these everlasting, long lasting friendships and connections. And it, it just takes, it takes the meaning and elevates the meaning of work and bringing all of yourself to the front door and coming in with it. And what a gift that is. Mm -hmm. And um, how is um, Nalini coping with the change in her life? Like, I love that it's not just about the teenagers having change as they approach graduation, but there's a lot going on in their adults' lives too. And, you know, with the impending empty nest, how, how is she <laughs> coping with it? Look, I also think it tracks, uh, this show tracks uh, not only, it's one of the storylines is how grief is tracked throughout the show, right? Mm. And how people are unconsciously acting from a state of complete grief and acting out to becoming much more conscious and being able to let go of the grief, and so they act different. Yeah. And so Nalini has learned, is learning how to let go of many things, but it's also because the grief is leaving her slowly. So she's a different person. She can show up as a different parent uh, than what she used to. She can, um, she can just kind of navigate through the world um, and you know, the, the, the first time that, that the loss happened, it was, she had no control over it. She had no control over Mohan dying and how it happened. And you know, to see how she handles the imminent loss now is so different, you know? It's something that she's ready for, she's yeah. happy for, and looking for forward to the next chapter of her life. Yeah. Yeah. I think all of us are left in such a hopeful, happy place. Yes, yeah. and it's wonderful how rich the stories have been. You know, on the surface, yeah. you think, oh, it's about high school and, you know, a young adult. So much more than it. that. Yes. Yeah. And we also get a great dance uh, sequence, don't we, uh, <laughs> Rich, uh, this season. How much fun um, was, that, was that to do? It was beyond words how, how much fun it was. <laughs> you know, I'm a dancer in real life, and, and specifically I've done Indian dance my whole life, and... I've done Indian classical dance as well as, you know, Bollywood dance and being able to bring that part of myself and my life to this show was such a joy and, and such a dream come true and, and getting to see, you know, the dance but also the meaning behind it which is the, the evolution of the relationship between Kamala and Devi mm -hmm. and how much they've uh, grown as to become even closer as sisters and, and Devi learning to accept uh, not just accept, but to own her own culture and to be proud of it and, and to confidently go do a Bollywood dance is something that you obviously is a huge difference from how we meet her in right. season one. And, and I she's think so ashamed. Yeah, she's so ashamed of it. And I think that uh, young brown girls, when they watch this, I, I hope um, they've grown with Devi and, and, and I, I, I think it's going to be so exciting. Richard Porter, thanks so much and great chatting with you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.